Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Trick. Uh, part three, I think, uh, somebody saw the video and asked or said it would look really cool if the, basically this is a triangular type shape, if it was a different color, and that would be very easy to do, even with the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and group all this stuff together so I can move it out of the way later. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that same color with the smart fill tool and I'm going to go there and there. No, take it back. I don't forgot about one step. So I need to basically ungroup this. Forgot what I was doing. So let's take, uh, we're still grouped. Let's go to object group and ungroup it. And I want to get that part. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to get that part, move it over that part, move it over. If you hold down your alt key and swipe through there, it'll grab all of them, move them over. We'll go ahead and group those together. And then I'm going to move it back. I'll tell you what, let's group this together. So now I can move this back. And before I smart fill it, I need to control D and rotate it from that X, which is the center of the page, that 60 degrees. And now we need to cut this out. And we got to think about this is our through part. So this is going to be our part we're going to cut out. So we need to cut this way. And when we cut this out, it'll, when we smart fill, whoop, went too far. So now let's take the smart fill tool. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and group it all together so we can move it out of the way easy. And let's take the smart fill tool and do there, there, and there. Now let's take all this and click on it and move it out of the way. So now let's go ahead and do the interactive fill tool on it. And we're gonna do like we did yesterday and have this in where it's going dark underneath here. Interactive fill tool. And you could use white. Uh, I just like the dark. We don't want too much. And then we're gonna grab this, but on this one, we're gonna go dark in both sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the black on both ends, but then I'm gonna put the orange in the middle. And by doing this, they all kind of look the same. We don't want too much. I want that dark a little bit more. And let's call that good. Now, control G to group, control D to duplicate. I've lost my so I'll put my indexing lines back. I'm going to double click on it and move the rotation to there. Doesn't look like it is, but sometimes it was, it's not there. That's why it was almost easier a while ago. There we go. And we're going to rotate it that 60 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. So we'll leave this one orange. And basically you have to ungroup it all. to be easier. So go to object, group, and ungroup. And then we can take, let's zoom in here. We can take this one and we're going to uh, get the interactive fill tool. Well, I didn't ungroup it, I guess. It's still a group. And you could actually do this where you don't, well, that's weird. Okay, that didn't have any interactive fill tool. That's what the problem was. So now all we can do, let's let's make it a green. And then we can put green in there. So we'll just change this to green. And then let's go ahead and just use the um, smart fill tool, get that same green and do here. Now, we can do it two different ways, and I think the easiest would be to do this, just delete all this. I was actually moving them down. Just delete them, we don't need them. So now we have those two sections. And let's go Control G to group, Control D to duplicate. Double click on the rotation and move it to the center. Now, this time we just have to rotate it, or don't have to, we need to rotate it 120 degrees. 
So we'll go 120 degrees, control D, 240 degrees. Sometimes Corel will do it, sometimes it won't. And there you have it, two different colors. Let's take away the indexing line. Let's go ahead and bring in a black box to put behind it so we make it black with right click or yeah, right click, go to object order back back a page. And that does look really good. Anyway, so I thank that person for that suggestion and hope that helped somebody someday and thank you for watching.